All right, welcome back to the Jason Gray Show. Like and subscribe. Let's go ahead and talk about the Biden family corruption news the last 24 right. hours. Yeah, this has been exciting so far. It's <laughs> been exciting. It's, and uh, unfortunately, it's been going on for so many years now. It's kind of strange how long a, a, an investigation could be drug out yeah. um, for a, a sitting president or an ex a, a, hun, a son of a, of a president. Yeah, I mean, just think, I mean, we're going to go into some detail here a little bit in regards of what sort of happened and just what our takes are on it. And I, I highly encourage you to look at alternative media, right? I think that's the only way you're going to get some somewhat of some real news out of anything these days. You're right. Um, you talk about like Tucker Carlson just the other day when he uh, released his statement on Twitter, he pretty much said is, I was still under constraints of stuff. That means they're all under constraints and stuff. Right. And that's why he's going to go to Twitter because he feels like that's the only place for free speech. Free so speech, right? So um, why don't you throw out your first couple talking points and then let's sort of talk about those and then yeah. let's sort of hash it out. And I, you have some notes. I have some notes and sure. we'll go through those. What, what are a couple of things that you sort of saw here? Well, a lot of things are making sense here, obviously. If you got such a web of LLCs, um, the, well, there's not really a good reason to set up this many LLCs. Right in such a web, uh, other than trying to confuse, I think the IRS, uh, money laundering, um, racketeering, racketeering, right, I was gonna say like racketeering. Yeah. uh, this just fits that. Bill You're just trying perfectly. to hide money now hide money. And That's, how many LLCs you said 20, um, there was what you said, 15, the 15 under when he was president during, or vice president, sorry, vice president. president, but now they've found upwards of over 20. And yes. I'm sure they're going to end up finding more because yeah. of the way they were sheltering money, hiding money, moving money around from LLC to LLC to then backdoor to um, a third. It seems to be a third. Every time there's money being shifted from um, another country, uh, it's always seems to go in thirds. So, so, third so, to the Biden, so it's third coming from two, some type of country. Right. Let's say let's make more Romania one of them because that seems like one right. of the main players, Romania, China, that we know of so far. Right. So they would pull the money into an LLC. It would maybe go even go into a second LLC, and then it would be distributed in thirds would, out to some of the Bidens. It would go to sometimes another shell company uh -huh. in another country before it gets distributed. So it would be going from one back and one forth. to another to another before it funnels back into the in source, which seems to be a Biden or uh, an entity of, of uh, Hunter Biden. So it says that 15 of these LLCs were created when... Joe was vice president right. with Obama, right? right. So and, that's and, 15 of them, right? And Joe did mention prior to, he never, uh, none of this money ever was was transferred or he made obviously no money. Made money, right. Making no money, but it turns out that 50, 16 of the 17 deposits that went into the Biden um, family mm -hmm. bank accounts, uh -huh. and now they're upwards of nine family members, even grandchildren that have was somehow received money. And the grandchild is creating what value for uh, what? And LLC? I'm not sure what the grand okay. yeah, exactly how the right. grandchild okay. But uh, yeah, I'm Gabriel, two years old and I'm making $3 million, people. No, I'm just kidding. Right. So uh, right. But uh, the, the Romanian gentleman, the, uh -huh. the, the 16 to the 17 payments that came from Gabriel Popovich there okay. out of Romania, he was ultimately convicted of, of uh, corruption. And now, at that time, when Joe Biden was vice president. He was in charge of aid for Romania. That's correct. So, I mean, you, you add these these little pieces up together and it's sort of, you're like, oh, well, yeah, I'll, I'll give your country some money, but in turn, I want some of this money somehow coming back to Something's us. Something's coming back. It's pretty much what yeah. it sort of feels like, right? I right. mean, that's what... It, it's not passing the smell test, that's for sure. <laughs> for sure, absolutely, right. not to pass the smell test. Okay, so you're a two-year-old grandchild and you're making thousands of dollars for gosh know what, knows what, right? For what? So, so let's talk about how many bank statements they're talking about. So now to my knowledge, and you correct me if I'm wrong, there's supposedly 12 different accounts. They've only looked at four of them so far. So this could get deeper and bigger. Oh, I'm sure it's going to be. It's just right? a, they're in the beginning stages of their investigation. Right. Obviously, there's a lot of, of documents yeah. to, have to go through, pour through bank statements, right. LLCs, the transferring of all the money from to and from the only ultimately end up in the Bidens, you know, follow yeah. the money. Trail, if eventually basically. some of it makes there. So they throw out, you know, hundreds of millions of billions of dollars to some country, whatever it might be, millions of dollars. And then some of it's, it's coming it's, back and, and hundreds, obviously uh, somewhere in there. And there's many times that hundred has been on air force too, right? Where well, he's taking trips yeah. with his dad. And shortly thereafter, those trips, generally money starts money is coming back. Yes, that's right. Very shortly after yes. each, of the, each of those trips. So, and let's be real, everyone. We're not naive here. Every, uh, it seems that like every politician lies, steals, cheats. It's just the ones that are getting caught. And unfortunately, I, or fortunately, however you look at it, 
this is going to come to a head stop at some point in time. You would hope, but you know, every time they flip over another rock, there's something else they're finding. Yeah. Well, and so, more and, more well, dirt. and it's really hard because you do have the Biden administration who is in charge of the you know attorney generals who he hired on. So there's some political mischief probably going on there. You got the FBI who didn't release that. What form did you say uh, it was called? 1023 form was 1023 they asked form. by noon yesterday, and that was rejected. That was by rejected. The DOJ. Yep. So. So yeah. Comer came out today, by the way, I, I, I listened to this this morning. He pretty the uh, he was on CNBC, I think it was this morning um, and and or Fox Business, one of the two. And he came out and said is that that didn't work, but we have a backup plan. Right. And what he pretty much led to his backup plan is we'll hold back the purse of money with the FBI until they release that stuff. Right. Pretty much what he's saying. Yeah, yeah, purse, but that but how long does that take? That's another year out. It could be. Yeah, you I know. And why don't they, if it was a non-classified form, why don't they want to release this form? Other than it could be obviously very damaging. And yeah. even though it's not a, an admission of guilt, it is uh, somebody who came in. Yeah. A whistleblower uh, came in, whistle, well, said this form exists. Well, a person for the FBI, yeah. they got to take this form as right. a potential yeah. uh, conflict or corruption, potentially, yeah. whatever was happening. So exactly. they had to make the... the uh, uh, noted, right, and the FBI took this form in. So they didn't say that the form didn't it. exist. They didn't say it. They just won't release it. They just won't release it. So right. Everything seems to be like yeah. I said. It, not, nothing's really fitting into place as far as it's not smash. It's, it's not it's corruption. Come on. Let's yeah, be it's real. not <laughs> passing the smell test. No, it's not special. So let's talk about the Chinese government. So yeah, at one of the first initiatives that that Biden did when he came in to being president is he released the China Initiative, right. which the China Initiative, to my knowledge, was like protecting our intellectual properties and trades and, and stuff like that. What what do you know about this stuff so far? You you, you, named, you named a few names, but how do these uh, people correlate with with the Biden? Well, we've got a couple and well, some of the, the Chinese big, government. Some of the initial so far investigation I mm -hmm. think of, of the money coming from China oh. came from was it uh, Gan Wangdong and okay. Xi Jinping? Okay. Um I don't know if they've even heard from Xi Jinping. That might have been the, right. the the Chinese spy guy that disappeared, okay. the billionaire. Oh. Okay. Um People disappear in China, just saying. Right. Yeah. And uh, so he was obviously had an under investigation as well by China. So okay. I think he was convicted also. Right. Uh, but there was some $130 million that was being transferred between this uh, Xi Jinping and um, Gan Wandong. You always got to ask yourself, too, like, I mean, we all know that our money is, you know, we have this relief money for these different countries. And there's... There's never ever a quality control of where that money ends up going at the end of the day. It's almost like this it. Ukraine yeah. war, right? Mm -hmm. We've thrown billions of dollars of not only, you know, war machines and products and bombs and stuff like that and aid, but you just never know where it all goes. And you know, you talk about Hunter and his Ukrainian, you know, you know, Burisma, you know, relationship he had and how much money he got paid for that. It's really shocking to me that just mainstream media doesn't come out and say this. If there's smoke, there's fire. If this is the opposite direction of, let's say, Trump, right, they would lose their ever-loving you-know-what, yeah. right? But at least what, you know, the like Trump's children, uh -huh. they have a legitimate business. Right. These, They're running a legitimate yeah. business. Right. What are they getting in return for this money? I okay, mean, so you're talking nine possibly family members of the Biden, minister, and, uh, Biden and family. More, 12. So we got a grandchild. We had a grandchild who, in there. Didn't what services anything. is the grandchild offering yeah. to these foreign countries? Nothing. And China is probably the least worst country on the list of That's what they the said. money that's yes. coming in. Yes. Um, I mean, you got one of the worst, most corrupt countries we're helping in a war right now, yeah. Ukraine. Right. And we've been giving them all this money. I know. Unaccounted for, right. unaudited. Which is our tax dollars. Which is our, our tax money, dollars. Our money, everyone. Of right? Our, our yeah. money that we're shelling over there. Yeah. And we have no accountability. Yeah. And that money could be just coming right back into politicians, yep. to Biden. Yeah. You know, it's, right. it's all, yeah. It's, it's a very sad state um, that, that we're all dealing with. There's okay. no doubt about it. Now, they're talking about up to how many millions of dollars? $10 million so far that so they've far. sort of tracked down. Right. And we still have eight more bank statements to go through or bank accounts to go through, right? Well, there could even be more than that. That's just right. the ones they've identified so far. And this is just identified pretty much China, Ukraine, and Romania on this first group that they're talking about. Right. So you got to talk about, you know, the GOP committee that's in charge of this. They only have so much that they can do. There's only so much they can say. And if you have an attorney general's office that's not willing to do anything, what do they do at that point in time? I mean, what what can they That's do? That's a very good question. I guess the only thing they have, <clears throat> excuse me, is the, the purse, you know, mm -hmm. the, the power of the purse. However... Right. Again, that's only going to go so far. We need to root this out. This right. is a problem, yeah. obviously. That's it, 
It's going to get us if, all if, killed, essentially. Yeah. Well, and if this is, like, legit stuff, this is bad. There's, there's no is, doubt about that. This is bad, Way right? worse than Watergate yeah. ever even thought about. I mean, this totally. is corruption at the highest level, and it's been going on for... A long Who time. knows? I mean, he's been in office for five decades. Yeah. And, and you talk about politicians starting for nothing and where they have millions of dollars now, either through insider and trading and all this other stuff. I mean, let's be real, people. They're corrupt. They're bad. They're evil. I know there's some that are good that try to make good for our lives. But at the end of the day, they're there for a reason. Now, I think maybe one of the solving some of the problems is maybe root out some of the corruption is maybe pay these people more money and maybe you get better talent. I mean, possibly. let's be term real. Term limits could help out. Term limits could help yeah. out. Uh, but getting I mean, rid of special, special interest lobbyists. That's a huge they one. They make so much money lobbyists Yes. Do. We got to become not lobbyists. Not for our interests. You it? know, we did the wrong thing. What's that? We got to become lobbyists ourselves. Uh, that would We're, be, yeah. yeah. Right? We're not very smart. Right. Okay. So, um, so that, that's a good one, right? Um, but I think, I mean, who wants to, how much does a president get paid per year right now? Uh, 450 a year? For the rest of their lives or something like that? Plus you get know. secret service? Still, 450 is not much. It's a lot, people. Don't get me wrong. But not but, when you own but, $2 million houses and multiple, and you got family, you've got yeah, support. Exactly. Them, right? so, yeah, there's a lot going on here, there's people. There's a lot going on. And, so, and these are not allegations. These are receipts that they brought to They the brought table. bank statements. I mean, these aren't, you can, you can. Yes. this is no conspiracy theory. These are allegations. These, they have receipts. Yes. They, where is this money going? What did they do yeah. to earn this money? And how many oh, stars? How, how many stars reports did they have? We've got over 170 now. 170. So for those of you who do not know what a stars report is, <laughs> it's a suspicious activity report that is done by the bank. If they sort of feel as, you know, we've wired each other some funds and it sort of looked a little sketchy for some reason, the likelihood of you get a stars report on you is in very rare. And it's so, so, so rare for them to fill out a report. Yeah. And not only that, do they not fill out a report, they get you on the phone and they start asking you questions. And right. it's like 25 questions they're asking you. It's not just sort of like whatever. So th th maybe not with Hunter, they didn't ask a bunch of questions or maybe well, they only did a couple like times. Well, it sounds like none. If you got 170, yeah, how many times you, did you, you probably never have gotten one. No. Uh, I've never gotten yeah. one, maybe. Anyway. Yeah. Um, and you got to explain this away. There's no, there's no investigation into 170 yeah, different SARS reports. Right. That sounds like corruption. To Where me, there's smoke, there's fire. There's Let's of, be real. There's a lot, there's of, smoke a lot there. of smoke. So, rolling into really back to our really why YouTube is so good is because this conversation can be had. We can have our two cents. We could be completely full of crap. We think we have a little bit of common sense behind us. I think you have a little bit of common sense behind you. One thing I can highly recommend is try to stay off some mainstream media. Look at both sides of anything. Look at one side and look at the other side, and then there's always something in the middle of there that's the truth, right? Well, yes. However, currently at this stage of the game, mm -hmm. we, we've had no coverage from the other side. It's right. only been on one side of yeah. coverage because apparently no one wants to learn about yes. the corruption at the highest They don't want to talk about it because yeah. they're controlled by a Democratic Party. Something's yeah. not right exactly. there. Yeah. Yeah. It's really so a lot of smoke. Nope. Yeah. All right. So, um, so what we'll do is we'll continue to report what we find what we come up with, we'll give our, we'll continue to give our two cents. Yeah. Right. Now, I would like to know what does people think? What, what was the, what was he, what was he selling? Yeah. I mean, to me, yeah. where are the receipts? What, 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 what services did you do? What services to me, it seems like it was just foreign policy. Uh, they were buying. They were buying. That's why. Foreign that, aid or foreign policy. They were buying foreign policy. Yep. Uh, that's about it. That's about it. That's all I, I mean, can really. See. And, and unfortunately, if it if it truly is foreign policy, let's say for China, that's treason. That's, I mean, that's treasonous that's, for sure. There's no doubt about it. Now, if it's foreign aid, then that's corruption and that's fraud and and that's not good. No matter how you spin it, if that, if any of these things are somewhat true, it's unfortunately really really bad. With the amount of receipts, I cannot see this not. I mean, you'd almost have to have your head under a rock and yeah. not know anything. I know. Common sense is going to lead yeah. you down a path of. This is probably what's happening. Now we yeah. just got to discover That's right. what really is happening. And the, 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 how big the, the country is very tribal in regards to their sides. It's hard to see because most people don't pay attention to the news anyways. Unfortunately, no. And, you know, they vote with just what they think they should know or not know. And, and it's, it's very important that people educate themselves yeah, for sure. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. To me, I don't red, vote red or blue. I vote on common sense. If, yeah. If it happens to be a blue candidate, yeah. then that's who if I If it makes vote sense, for. makes but, sense. Yeah. Right. Exactly. I vote for yeah. somebody who has common sense, not uh, yeah. just because I have a, a, a blue or red on my Everyone, chest. Everyone, rich for president. <laughs> All, right. <laughs> All right, like and subscribe if you guys have any questions for us. 
Leave your comments below. Uh, thank you very much for your time. Appreciate it. Bye-bye.